Hello, welcome back to Crunch Style. Today we will be reviewing another pair of Nike Dunks. Today I will be reviewing a pair of off-white uh, pair from the 50 pack. But before we get into that, I would just like to say thank you to Bass Kicks for sending this pair of shoes. Um, if you like rep shoes or UA shoes, definitely go check them out. They have a great selection. Uh, follow them on Instagram and then if you do want to get a pair, uh, just check them out. Send them this video if this is what you just want to buy and they'll hook you up with a really great deal. All right, let's get into the shoes right here. We got the black colorway from the 50, lot 50 dunks. And this is number 50. Um, you can see that on the hill right here. Bam, 50, a 50. It's actually my favorite out of all of them. At first, I really liked the white pair, but I think the black is just the most wearable. Even though it does stand out quite a bit, it's just really awesome. I'm really a huge fan of that foil swoosh with the crackling on it. It really, really looks nice on it. Um, exposed foam on the tongue, white laces for a bit of contrast, but then you have those overlaces and black to where it doesn't stand out too much, but once you're close and you can really see the details, you're like, damn, that, that's actually pretty unique. That's pretty cool. And it gives you a bit of DIY possibilities where you can get your own different style of laces to do for the overlaces and just spice up the shoe just a little bit more. But I just kind of stuck with the shoe as it is. So yeah. Kind of keeping it really simple here. Yep. Also came with a black hang tag on the shoes. Where, where are we at? Where are we at? There we go. Boom. Spot on. Looks perfect. Yeah. So these shoes are basically one to one. It has black smooth leather. Feels really good. Really great to the touch. Black canvas on the toe, on the med panels, and then right along the heel here. So, whew. These are pretty spot on and pretty perfect in my opinion. On the insoles of the shoes, we have Sydney Portier's face and hand, something that Off-White really started to use a lot, especially closer to Virgil Abloh's passing. Uh, still really wish we still had him with us just because he's an amazing artist and he seemed like a really good person. Um, so yeah, really sucks that he passed when he did. I know he had a lot of creativity and probably ideas he just still wanted to get out. And he was only with Nike for not even that long. I would say, I think it was like three years. No, my bad, six years. And then he passed. So I think he could have definitely really shaken up the secret culture even more than he did. He made ripples, tidal waves, but it's just sad he left the way he did. Yeah. Anyways, but these are a really awesome pair of shoes. Uh, glad he created these, released them to the public. And now people have an opportunity to wear something that he had in mind. Really awesome design. Huge fan of these. All right, if you are interested in getting a pair of these shoes, hit up Bass Kicks, they'll hook you up. Um, Yeah, it's pretty much all for today's review. Huge fan of these shoes, definitely recommend. Oh yeah, go true to size on these. I'm sorry, I now said it three minutes in. All, just all usual Nike Dunks go true to size and then SP Dunks go half a size up. Just because that tongue can be a little thick and it might make the shoe a bit snug where you have to have the laces really loose on them but i just still like to go true to size because i kind of like having a looser fit on my sb dunks and then normal dunks i usually will have them laced up pretty normal but yeah that's pretty much all for today's review great pair of shoes go cop yourself a pair Peace. Doesn't out Pluto, doesn't out Pluto.